Let's learn how to remove the personally identifiable information from your audio files and make it sound like this. My name is and the last four digits of my card are and the security code is for this, we're going to use the Assembly AI Python SDK. So if you don't already have it installed, make sure you go to your terminal and install it with pip install assembly AI. Once you've done that, we can go to our Python file and say import assembly AI as AAI. Next thing you're going to need is the assembly AI API key. So we're going to set it with aai.settings.api key. If you do not have an API key yet, it's very simple to get one. Just go to assemblyai.com, create an account, and you will get a free API key. Uh, I will not paste it for now, but if you want, you can add your API key, specify your API key here. And then we're going to have to start a transcription job. So I will just call what is returned a transcript, call the transcriber on top of the assembly AI um, SDK and then start a transcription job. To this, what we need to pass is the name of our audio file. So the one we're going to use here is a mock customer call. And then we need to set up the configuration of our transcription job using transcription config. And to use the personally identifiable information redaction, we're going to have to call the redact PII model, and we will do that by setting the redact PII configuration to true. So if we only do this, what is going to be returned to us is going to be a transcription of this customer call uh, where the personally identifiable information is redacted. Before we see how we can just get a audio where the information is redacted, I also want to show this one little detail with you. On your transcript that you get, there are two ways how you can uh, see something is redacted. So through the redact PII sub, I can either determine it to be hash. So all the information that needs to be redacted will be uh, covered with hash symbols. Or another option is to specify entity name. So instead, instead of the hashes only, here, if there is a person name, it's going to say person name instead of the actual name of the person. If there's a phone number, it's going to say there used to be a phone number here, but I redacted it, so it'll just say phone number. But we are mainly interested in the audio file that's going to be returned, so we do not have to specify this. Instead, I'm going to specify redact PII audio to be true to. So I want the audio that where the information is redacted to be returned to me. The last thing that we want to set is what kind of information we want redacted. So I'll say redact PII policies, and then I can give a list of policies here. All of the options of things that can be redacted, you can find on the assembly AI documentation. So this goes from medical processes, let me make this bigger, medical processes, uh, blood type, drug, injury, uh, phone number, credit card expiration date, nationality, person name, person age, organization, and much more. There are some umbrella ones. For example, you can just say number sequence. So this one is a lazy rule that redacts anything, any number sequence that has more than two numbers um, consecutively. For the example that we're working with, this is a phone call, a mock phone call to a credit card company. And I want to redact at least the credit card number, credit card expiration date, uh, credit card CVV, but like I said, we can also just use the number sequence uh, redaction policy and it will get rid of all of that. I also want to get rid of email addresses, location, person name, phone number, banking information, and any social security number that is mentioned. So once this is done, there are two ways how we can get the um, audio. So either I will get the audio from the transcript, uh, get audio, no, redacted audio URL. Oh, one thing I seem to have forgotten here is two more parentheses here. So first I'm calling the transcriber constructor and then I'm creating a transcriber object and on top of that I'm calling the transcribe function. Um, and that will return to me the audio redacted audio URL. Or another option is to again use the transcript and directly save redacted audio 
and I just need to pass it a name so I can just say redacted audio dot mp3 so let's just use a second one for now run it and see what happens so while we wait for the redaction to happen we can just take a look at what the audio originally sounds like call center training I will just fast forward it a bit sure my name is Kevin P Jackson and the last four digits of my card are 5402 and the security code is 339 thank you Mr. Jackson all right let's see the redacted audio now that it's ready call center tr I will fast forward it again to I think it was like sure my name is and the last four digits of my card are five and the security code is th thank you mr no problem we can take care of that for you right now all right we did it so that's all you need to do to get a redacted audio with assembly ai if there are any personally identifiable information in your audio if you have any questions don't forget to leave them in the comment section below if you want to learn more about how to use the real-time transcription, you can go and check out our documentation at assemblyai.com slash docs. Um, try it out. Tell us how it goes. We will be happy to hear from you. I will see you in the next videos.